So our next speaker is uh, Emma Suvarats, who comes for us, who comes to us um, from the Food and Agriculture Organisation of the United Nations. Um, Emma is um, a senior information management officer there and leads the Agrivoc, Agris and Agora programs with the specific objective to enhance accessibility and visibility to knowledge, information and data that's produced by the FAO member countries. So Emma, please take it away. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for the invitation and the opportunity to be here today. I'm going to introduce uh, something that is called a research data alliance. And uh, for those that don't know much about it, is uh, as I'm going to explain now, is a, an initiative that is focusing very much on data standards, how we can create consensus about how interoperability between information systems and some of the things that have been discussed this morning can happen. Uh, this is a presentation that I'm doing on behalf of the Interest Group on Agricultural Data at RDA. And I would like simply to introduce my colleagues, Deborah from Embrapa, Cindy from USDA, uh, also as a co-authors. RDA is, was launched uh, by a community-driven initiative already in 2013. Essentially, it was involved the European Commission, also the National Science Foundation and the National Institute of Standards and Technology and Australian uh, government, uh, Department of Innovation. The goal that all these organizations, these in institutions, these governments were had in mind is, was to build a, a, a social and technology, uh, technical infrastructure to enable open sharing and reuse of data. Currently, we have about 10,000 um, uh, members from 145 countries. And I must say it's a kind of neutral space where uh, the individuals and also organizations as such can come together to develop and to adapt, to share as well what they are doing in their institutions in terms of data, research, interoperability, semantics, etc., for improving the data sharing in the data-driven research. Uh, within this RDA in um, context, uh, we built in 2013 as well, quite early, um, an interest group that was dedicated to agricultural data. We have a currently about 260 members and is one is considered one of the most prominent thematic groups. It's very much domain oriented uh, and we are working on issues that are related to food and agricultural data in general and globally. So essentially, uh, IGAT is representing stakeholders that are interested in uh, knowing more about how to improve their data management uh, for agricultural research innovation and particularly including producing aggregating and consuming data essentially it's a forum and people come to learn how to do things better how to learn from others doing very similar initiatives and or having the same kind of issues in their organizations and to know how they could improve uh, from that. So essentially the objective of IGA, the objectives is essentially to raise awareness about the importance as well of opening up access to data repositories, silos, uh, big data, whatever, by researchers and private stakeholders, including farmers, to focus attention on implementing good data management policies and RDA recommendations within institutions. There are a lot of recommendations that are being discussed and agreed in the context of RDA, which is a multidisciplinary, uh, in a multidisciplinary context. And these recommendations can always be used, implemented in your own organizations and to help you uh, to improve certain aspects of data management. And also we will want to people reinvent the wheel. So we want to highlight that there is a need of tools but they are, they are out there as standards that facilitate the fair data management. And we can uh, access to them, particularly in these kind of forums that RDA is providing and, 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 and facilitating, uh, particularly for the agricultural community. We have working groups within uh, EGATS. Some of them have already achieved 
their recommendations, which is the case of wheat data interoperability. How can I exchange data uh, related to wheat in a more efficient and coherent way? It's the same about agri-semantics. What vocabularies can I use to make sure that my data is meaningful for all the information systems, for all the stakeholders in my own country and outside of my country? Also metrics and indicators about agricultural science, capacity development for agricultural research data or the soil data interoperability um, working group as well. So essentially what we want is to connect people and organizations. It would be fantastic if we could have a, a representation from this community we have uh, in these days here to talk about what is what you need and what we could also uh, help you to get and how we could collaborate, discuss and promote all these recommendations that are out there. We also, we meet a couple of times a year, but we also meet very regularly. So you could always join and to participate, you could even, if you like, to present about some of the, the, the things that you are doing in this regard. And we would like, we would love to learn about that. We have members from all the continents. So it's very much also dedicated to the global south. We are very much interested that they are not uh, behind anything that has to do with these interoperability standards. We are also um, uh, engaging with the research community. So um, not only uh, agricultural war, a world, but also uh, all the related sciences. This is the reason as well why the success of the wheat, uh, wheat, wheat data interoperability was uh, achieved, because it was very structured and uh, had a very vivid community that was pre-existing before the working group. We had a challenge to have a RISE data interoperability working group, for instance, but now we are working on having one dedicated to crop. Uh, we are also collaborating with other people in the community. We are also interested to know what they are other, other um, disciplines doing in the context of RDA, what is what they are looking at, and maybe something can be um, brought into the food and agricultural domain in, in RDA. So we have, um, as I said, they are, we have individuals, but also we have institutions. There are different levels of engagement depending on the needs of each of us. Uh, we are doing, as I said before, a very, very big effort to bring the Global South. And um, the, we have a very good representation of key stakeholders in IGAS. Um, and this is facilitating as well um, that we can also move on and we can have as many um, uh, success stories to explain as we have. But there is a lot of things to do still. We want to promote EGAT outputs more and we want to engage with national, regional, international organizations. They don't have to join necessarily RDA, but we want to find in the forum a way that we can engage with them in a way or another, participating in these online meetings or um, organizing webinars together, what is what's going on in this particular field, et cetera. As a conclusion, um, I would like to say that um, we are promoting very much the global awareness of fair data. We are also promoting regional inputs and also use cases dedicated to standards and initiatives. We are also working on protection of farmer and other data rights. They are partners in, in the context of EGAT, like for instance, uh, GODAM, the Global Open Data in Agriculture Initiative that are working very much on this and other organizations like GFAR that is very much also involved. And through these organizations, we are, so it's not that everything is done by RDA and EGAT. We have organizations in the forum that are doing very interesting things dedicated to farmers. And then they come and they share and they engage with other organizations in the network. And definitely we are interested in increasing linkage with other domain expertise. So for instance, now we are working very much or very close to bio biodiversity and we are going to set up a working group dedicated to pollination data, which uh, also uh, should bring uh, some interesting um, outcomes for the agricultural domain. We are, um, we are, we have a web page if you want to join, but in any case, what I is, I'm not looking forward, to, or we are not looking for uh, to convince people to participate in RDA. I want you to know that this exists. And if for any reason, sometime, in the future, in the near future, you find yourself that you are looking for standards 
or uh, what is going on with interoperability? How can I just change data here and there? And you want to know what the others are doing. This is the right forum to go. You can learn a lot from there and we can learn as well a lot from you. So um, we are organizing our annual, um, binar, yes, um, our plenary meeting in some weeks time. I would be delight, uh, delighted that somebody from this uh, community join us if possible, but if not, uh, please um, uh, just keep, tone, uh, keep um, informed through the website that we're showing. You can also uh, get my email in case that you want to know more about it or you want to have more or, or have a chat. If you want to have a chat, it's also always an interesting thing to do. So thank you so much on behalf of EGAT, and I hope that this was interesting for all of you. Thank you.